Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I bake my face for a flawless finish. But first, let me get all this hair out of the way with a little pin so we can begin. So first of all, I'm going to use the NYX Dark Circle Corrector Concealer to correct a little bit my dark circles so they don't show through the foundation or anything. If you want to see my concealing routine, I'm going to leave that video link down below so you can go watch it. So after that, I'm going to be using my Baby Skin Pore Eraser. It's my favorite primer of the drugstore. It's a silicone based primer that lures my pores a lot and I just love it. It's only six bucks. Now, this lash is bothering me. Can you see that? It just came out. I hate when that happens. But anyway, let, let's keep going on with the video. So now, I'm using my Kabuki brush with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 128, I think it is. So I'm getting a little bit of foundation on the top of my hand and I'm going to, to stipple some of that foundation all over my face and then I'm going to buff it out. When you're doing this, make sure that you cover up all that orange or salmon concealer or corrector so it doesn't show through the foundation that it seems like. Now I'm going to be using these two concealers to highlight and cover up just a little bit more my dark circles. First, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer in light medium in a triangular form with my finger. Now I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color sand to highlight. Even though it doesn't show on camera as bright as it does in person, it really brings a very natural and beautiful highlight to the face. Now I'm blending everything with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge um, Damped to make a more flawless finish without any marks of my fingers or any brush strokes or anything. After we're done doing this, we go to the really nice part, which is baking. I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder to bake my face. So I'm going to pat a little bit the jar so I can get more powder on it, so I can have more product into my beauty blender. I like to use it um, dry because I feel that it distributes the powder more evenly than wet. But if you have any tricks on using it wet, just let me know. Comment down below. But anyways, you're gonna use the powder on the parts that you highlighted. Under the eyes, on the top of the nose, on the forehead, and the shin. And you're gonna carve out under the cheeks so you have sharper contour. And there I go, blowing the powder and getting all the powder all around. Anyways, now I'm going to use Shade and Light by Tap on D Contour Palette to do some contour using this dual fiber brush. brush. And I'm going to be using this shade right here, if I'm not mistaken, that is sub subconscious. But can never say that word. So I'm going to chisel my cheeks a little bit with that contour 
powder and I'm going above the baking that we did so that counter is more chisel and natural and more defined. Well, um, natural I don't think so, but more glam, more blended. That's the word I was looking for. I like to leave that baking powder on the face for as long as I can. Mostly I do my powder contour and then I swipe all the pow excess powder of my face. For my nose I always use this blending brush with the same contour powder. I just get a little bit and throw a straight line with that powder just on the sides of the baking line I use with the setting powder. Now you can use any brush you want. I'm going to use an angle brush and I'm going to buff out all that excess powder that I have on my face to reveal that flawless and beautiful skin. Under your eyes you always want to buff out towards your ears so you don't mess up your powder contouring. Now you can intensify your contour if you feel that it got a little wash out with the setting powder and your bacon is done. Now for your finishing touches, just throw up a little bit of blush, highlighter, lipstick and you're done. If you like this video, give a thumbs up, comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye!